Hey guys, now that we're about two weeks into the new patch, I want to spend some time to chat about the best support heroes in the current meta. Let's start by looking at Doizer's latest tier list. And for those that don't know, Doizer is a conqueror on the Thailand server, and in my opinion, he creates one of the best and most well-recognized tier lists currently. And I really want to focus in on the support uh, column of this tier list and layer in some of my thoughts based off of playing most of these heroes, what I'm observing in our North American server, and also what I've observed from watching recent tournament clips from the Taiwan server. Lumber received a buff in the most recent patch and is now one of the best support heroes. He has a good combination of tankiness, CC, peel, initiation potential, plus a mobility movement. And what makes him extra good are the less visible factors. Two I want to talk about. One is his passive, which grants bonus armor and magic defense to himself and one nearby ally that scales with level. By late game, this effectively gives an item worth of stats to himself and one other teammate. Incredible. And then second is his, pa uh, his S2, which grants a 20% damage reduction to enemies hit. Zip, on the other hand, got a pretty big nerf, finally, and in my opinion, he's kind of fallen off the meta now. Chachi remains strong, but I don't think he's as good as he was prior to his nerf, and I think one of Tachi's biggest weakness is that he doesn't have enough CC in his kit, which is very important for a support to have to complement a lot of the current meta heroes. Also, Tachi's not great when it comes to protecting his ADC, so he's better picked with ADCs have self-protection ability like a Hayate. Wonder Woman remains a good, well-rounded support. Maybe not as good as she was two, three patches ago before she got readjusted. So now her full tank build isn't as good because some of her stats um, scale with AD. Mina, one of the strongest heroes at level 1 and excellent engage potential even into the late game. Roxy, I think, is a top tier support, but we don't see her picked as often. I think one of the reasons is because she's just not as fun to play relative to some of the other supports. Her kit largely evolves around her flicker ult engage. And when she, her ult is on cooldown, she's kind of boring to play slash almost uncomfortable when it comes to going up against a team with a lot of poke. Now, Horseman, maybe there's some really great one-trick Wolkoff on the Thailand server, but I don't think he's worthy of being on the same tier as some of these other heroes here. He... I think it's the opposite of Lumber in terms of he has a lot of really vet visible strength when it comes to diving the enemy backline, but I just think as a support, some of these other picks are better. And then one other hero from this second A tier that I would move up is Thane, who also got a decent buff in this last patch. His S2 now comes with a jump that allows him to go through walls, I think this extra mobility ability makes it a lot easier for Thane to land his and combo his CC. Um, so an excellent tanky hero with a lot of CC in his kit. Annette, while she's nerfed, I think she's still a pretty good pick. Though probably better as a mid laner than as a support. And of course, an excellent ultimate for team fights. Teamy also got a pretty good buff in this last patch, but I don't think he, Teamy is as strong as he was, say, like a year and a half ago. And in part because the big late game ADCs aren't as strong as they were a year and a half ago. I think what made Teamy really good before was his gold passive that allowed his late game ADCs to scale faster. But now the ADCs just aren't as important as they were relative to a year and a half ago. So I think Timmy uh, is rightfully so in this A tier. Richter just hasn't been the same since his S2 got nerfed. Now he can be CC'd when using S2. So 
I think he's in the middle of the pack for support. Rui has the potential to be really good in a well-coordinated team that knows how to navigate around the map with her abilities. But net and net, I think she's a bit weaker than she was in the prior patch just because of how heroes that can counter Rui have moved up on the tier list. So for instance, Thane or Lumber can push Rui or her allies out of her portal. Crash remains a great tanky easy to learn support hero. If you're just looking for one support hero to pick up as a hero to fill without having to spend much time learning a hero, I think Crash is a nice easy pick for that. Grack, <laughs> for those that play on our server, you've probably seen Grack get banned a lot in the highest elo. And it's not necessarily because Grack is an SS tier top support per se. But because when there's a Grack on an enemy team, our playing experience and enjoyability of the game declines by like 20 times because we play the full game in fear of getting hooked by Grack. So the counter to that is just to ban him to make the playing experience better for us. With that said, I think Grack and all of the heroes with a big CC ability received an indirect buff two patches ago when the cleansing support item received a nerf. So the cooldown is now 90 seconds compared to 60 seconds. So it makes it easier for heroes like Grack to land and sustain their ultimates. Alice is one of my personal favorite heroes and her late game is really overpowered, but you know, one of her biggest weaknesses is she is relatively squishy and she needs to be complemented with a tanky teammate that can help her team to get vision. Um, Baldoom also, I think, is stronger this patch. Um, good engage potential, really tanky, and his S2 ha gives an extra damage reduction. But I think Lumber and Thane does similar roles as Baldoom and a bit better. Now, a few heroes on this bottom list that I would consider moving up. Ormar is my personal Dark Horse pick, and he's so strong in the early game. Though, after the last adjustment, he relies more on luck now in terms of when his passive stun is triggered. And... Arum, I think, is a nice counter pick to some of the meta heroes currently. For instance, it doesn't matter how good the Florentino is at dancing mechanically, when Arum can just counter him with a click of a button. I would also move Amelie higher up on the list. Amelie remains a decent support pick, while not as dominant as she was prior to her adjustment 2-3 patches ago. Now some of her stats scale with AD instead of HP, so she isn't as good with a full tank build, but still a decent pick. The last two heroes I want to touch on on the bottom of the support tier list are Sephira and Ishar. While less recommended in higher elos, these two heroes are actually pretty good in lower elos when it comes to a solo Q carry support pick. I think in lower elo, some of their weaknesses are less important. So generally the enemy team doesn't know how to properly dive the backline squishies and instead they may waste their abilities targeting Ishar's little pet bear. And the other part is even though these two are really squishy uh, and they can't really get vision for the team like a tank support, Getting vision is less important, I think, in diamond rank and below because oftentimes your teammates aren't even watching the minimap anyways. Finally, there's two other heroes not on the support column that I would recommend as a support pick. The first is Superman, who I would bucket in the high A tier. I think excellent engage and CC plus great mobility to roam around the map. The second is Illumia. She has excellent CC and a global ultimate. She's so much fun to play, though others might view her as a borderline troll support pick.
Now, even if a hero is at the bottom of the tier list, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily unplayable. There's always going to be that one player that can make a non-meta hero appear like an SS tier hero in a game. And one of the things I love about the current meta in AOV right now is that the heroes are fairly balanced overall. There isn't really a hero that's super overpowered, broken, and uncounterable. And similarly, there really isn't any hero that's so weak to the point of being unplayable.